Hi, I'm Josh, and this is Cars and Joshy. Welcome to Cars and Joshy. Today, I'm going to be prepping the frame. I'm going to be grinding some of the finish off on the frame rails so that I can weld in some new steel to box in the frame. All right, so I just got the stuff held up here by some clamps for right now, but it already looks better. You can kind of get a visual of how it's gonna look when it's boxed in, but I wanted to take this time to uh, bring up some points that I found interesting. The, uh, they have some prefab kits available from like Hellwig and as I was looking at those kits I noticed that they have a lot of reinforcement kind of in this area and back here where this shock tower bar is and all of that stuff is already kind of taken care of with UMI products that I have not only at the back but also at the front so I didn't really see the point and getting one of those expensive kits and besides that the Hellwig kit says it's not for El Caminos so that was out anyways the only piece that I see people doing is putting a brace across here for these body mounts but instead of doing that I'm just gonna attach my bumper to the rear and that should hold it in place and so when I went and looked at my bumper the actual bumper was really rusted so I just took a wire wheel to the whole thing and then scraped it with a wire brush and washed it and sprayed it down with the hose and it's really pitted and really kind of rusty but you know what not too bad it's not got any crazy holes in it so what I'm going to use I actually just wiped it down with some acetone and I have some spray that I'm going to use on it I just went to O'Reilly's, got some Krylon Rust Tough Enamel Primer. And we'll hit it with that. And then I'm going to hit it with the roll bar and chassis flat black. Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention is these prefab kits, they're pretty costly. So what I ended up doing is I called up metal supermarkets. They're like a, a chain of metal suppliers if you've never heard of them. I bought this sheet metal for $35, so super cheap and that's what I'm gonna use. I have no official welding training and this is gonna be like maybe the third thing that I've ever welded. So just going to show you, you don't have to be super skilled to do this and y'all can ridicule my welds or whatever if, if you want, but I don't care, 35 bucks and it's gonna get done. I'm not really sure how I'm going to weld around this hump right here, but I think I'm just going to cut some slits in the steel and bend it and then weld this in place. That's my idea anyways, but yep, so I'm going to finish painting this up, mount it up, and then I'll get to welding never put the bumper on or taken it off you have some bumper mounts here that go on the end of the frame and then you have these things and best I can tell these go inside the actual bumper right in there like 
that. Move this side. And go through those bumper mounts. So we'll go ahead and throw this on here. enjoy the content and like the videos I've been putting out, please subscribe. Thanks for watching Cars and Joshy. Josh out.